Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. So we are still on BBC documentary concerning TB Joshua. Many men of God, pastors, prophets, uh, disciples are coming out to say their own side of story, to speak out. Many are with uh, TB Joshua, like they are against BBC documentary, and many agreed what BBC documentary did. So some are saying that uh, if these pastors that are defending TB Joshua, they are sure that uh, what uh, those people said in that documentary are lies, why can't they sue BBC so that they can come out and defend themselves that what they put out there is really the truth? And when you think about it, what of if these pastors now sue BBC? You guys know very well that Prophet TB Joshua, he is not alive to defend himself. So what is the need? I believe that the main purpose of these pastors coming out to speak out is because in order to strengthen the faith of many Christians, you guys know that we have plenty baby Christians all over the world. And if time is not taken, this, only this documentary is going to discourage them. Like this documentary is doing a lot of harm when it comes to Christianity. Like according to the news we are hearing, one of uh, TB Joshua's disciple, Harry, you guys know that he came out and analyzed this BBC documentary step by step, okay? And right now he is facing like persecution in his country. You guys know there's many countries that Christians, they cannot come out openly and preach the word of God. They are hiding to win the souls of many people. And now what do you think that will happen to these people? That's why I said that this documentary is really doing a lot of damages when it comes to Christianity. So here is Pastor John Anosike. He's here to speak out, to tell us what he think about a BBC documentary concerning TB Joshua. Let me just allow you guys to watch the video and I will be right back. But look at, look at a, a, a foolish BBC trying to tell us suddenly you don't preach Jesus in BBC. Stupid Christians are listening to that trash. I, I, I don't care whether it's real or not. I care less. Show me one day you have allowed any preacher to preach in BBC. In, in BBC. BBC. I'm telling you, ask, ask them. They don't preach Jesus in BCC or, or BBC. You know, I can't even call it because I care less about those channels. If Christians are wise, how dare you listen to a channel that never preached Jesus? A channel that never propagates Christ. Then suddenly they care for us to not tell us that the dead man is a false prophet. We are not stupid. We, I say we are not stupid. You don't have to tell us who is false. You don't have to tell us who is real. Leave us. We have the Holy Spirit. We have the discernment of spirit. Don't insult our kingdom. In as much as we have childish Christians all over the world. Babies who don't know their left and right. They're coming to tell us that the dead man is a witch. Can't leave that man to rest. Even in his, in, in, in his grave, he's still great. That man is great. This is greatness to the highest. When he was alive, they hated him. They fought him. And suddenly he dies. They are still fighting him. What type of a man is this? That sounds more like Christ-like. what his previous histories were this man called on the name of Jesus he preached Christ he led millions of people to Christ he helped people he didn't build a one billion sitters church rather he used money and helped the less privileged Sit down. Sit down. He had sex. He had sex with women. He had sex with women. Uh, as though those women didn't enjoy the sex with him. 
fools. Foolishness. I'm not here to say he did it or did it, he, 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 he didn't. Do you know how many times women have tried to seduce me? Now, if I had fallen into it, tomorrow they will come and say, it's, it's him. <laughs> Do you know how many times women threw themselves to me? Made suggestions. Even one came and brought her breast out. I had to run like Samson. He says, no, 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 no. Joseph. <laughs> Samson went into it. One beautiful young girl came to my office and brought her breast out. You know, please, please, I love you. I said, Holy Ghost, fire. <laughs> Do you know how many times top people in this country have sent young girls, they disguised them to come and see me, to seduce me. So that I can be the next big deal on the BBC. <laughs> and Christians listen to those chunks. A channel that never preached Jesus suddenly wants to convince you that a man of God is a witchcraft. No, we are wise. We know better. I don't know him. I've never met him. But the way they attacked him, the idea, the whole idea of fighting this man, the Holy Spirit told me why. Because in the vision, he told me that this is the year of the dragon's war with the woman. <laughs> satanism, satanism, satan. And the world power have ganged up to unify one universal church. So they have released billions of dollars to castigate accused top reasonable reputable men of God across the world. What you're seeing on TB Joshua is just a trial and it's a, a foundation they are setting. Very soon, you will hear about the next one. Billions have been paid to these powerful TV stations. Other interviews are happening behind the scene. I know the next man they're about to pick up. There's another one coming. Watch. A big man of God that you know will be picked up again. So it's not about TB Joshua. The vision God showed me was the vision of the woman that was caught in adultery. The woman that was accused in adultery was not the very reason for which they wanted to kill her. No, that was a trap against Jesus. So don't think that TB Joshua is the reason for this castigation. No. The target is the church. And if the church falls so woefully, so weakly to this scam, the next one will rise. Yes, the woman committed adultery. Yes, the law was against her. But the whole scenario was not against her. It was to use it to hold Jesus, to trap Jesus. And this is the vision God showed me. The church must close their ears to nonsense. If our fathers have made a mistake, it is the responsibility of sons, of their sons, to cover their nakedness. I believe in the covering of fathers. 
We are a nation. We are a people. We are Christians. We are believers in Christ. We are royalty. We are peculiar people. We are sons of God. We are not of this world. The world has no right to judge us. The world has no right to judge our fathers. Even though you don't believe in T.B. Joshua, who asked you to believe in him? At what point, from Genesis to Revelation, we are we commanded to believe in the man? He is just an instrument. Whether he was used by God or whatever, at least we knew he preached Jesus. And, and guess what? When Jesus was told that some other folks who were not of the fold of Jesus, we are preaching Jesus. Then Peter said, should we stop them? Jesus said, no. Don't stop them. Allow them. For they are not against us. They are for us. Even though if T.B. Joshua is a wizard, he didn't turn against Jesus. He preached to Jesus. I didn't say he's a wizard. But even though you think he is, he preached to Jesus. He healed the sick. He helped the poor. He stood for the needy. Well, they are waiting for me to speak. I've spoken. Yeah. What will burn servant of Christ say? Make sure you say what I say. If you cut nonsense and put what you want to show people, curse will be upon your generations. I didn't come to show mercy, for this is the hour of judgment. BBC, a warning. Don't you ever in the history of your existence open your dirty mouth to talk about men of God. Do your job as a, as a reputable or channel, whatever you broadcast. Leave, take your filthy mouth of men of God. Leave us to our struggles. Leave us to our faith. Leave us to our belief. You don't guarantee our eternal salvation. If BBC were fair enough, you should have at least had the wife interviewed alongside. All the points that you have validated on your channel, you should have also called some of the wise men. If you had five people you interviewed that spoke against the man of God, you also should find five people that should be able to respond to the things that these folks are saying. Then we should also look at the habits, the character, the flaws of these same people who accused the man of God. That is the integrity of a reputable broadcasting channel. If you were not paid, how could you show one side? Where is the fairness? Insulting a man that has died, that cannot defeat, that cannot defend himself. That means you're cowards. Cowards! Don't let me release fire from heaven. We fear no man. Enough is enough. I am the burnt servant of Christ. Try me. You see the wrath of God. The world is looking for something to destabilize us. To, to, to infuse confusion amongst us, to infuse division amongst us, 
not to believe in Jesus. At what point do we say we believe in man? He says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. So if you're a man of faith, who do you look to? The author. Who is he? Jesus. And who is he? The author. Meaning the beginning and the end of our faith. So that means you begin with him, you end with him. That's what it is. The gift of God is without repentance. There are men who carry some gifts that may not have repented in some areas, which their flaws will catch up with them in the future. But thank God, there is a new move coming. Amen. That one is where I showed you in Timothy. He said, if any man shall purge himself, there is a final use of the master. That one emitted the characters. You would be dead to anything called flesh. You will not be found wanting. They cannot buy you with money. They cannot buy you with their private parts. They cannot buy you with their false beauty, painting left and right. They cannot do, they can't get you. No, I'm not kidding. with their power so their influences. They can't. They can buy you with their fame because you don't want to be famous. When they put money on your hands, you feel disgusted. You throw it back into the kingdom. You don't know, you don't fit in here. Do you know that anything I have, I don't even know what it means. No, even if I enter my car, I'd feel nothing. I feel I'm dead to these things, this thing you call. I'm not here, I'm lost. Oh, God, he does. What are you talking about? Receive the fire that purifies. Receive the fire that purifies. Receive the fire that purifies. So, in all this, the questions that we're supposed to be asking ourselves is what is the motive, what is the agenda of this BBC documentary? Like, according to what we are hearing right now, they're going to put restriction in churches. Like, they're going to tell them what to preach, how to preach about it. Because when you come out and say why, they will show you this documentary that this is what churches are doing because of that there shall be restriction in Christianity. Mm, my people, that is Wahala. So this is the question that we're all supposed to be asking ourselves, like what is the purpose of this documentary? Since D.B. Joshua is no more here to defend himself, because these people, they really went too far. They really spent a lot of money. Do you know what is two years in order to bring out this documentary? They spend money, spend time, go to different countries in order to interview all these accusers. Like, do you people think that this is a joke? There is a big gender behind this BBC documentary. So we Christians, we're supposed to be careful. Just as I'm always saying that I'm not here to defend TB Joshua. I'm not here to castigate him or to say that what BBC documentary said is true. One thing I'm telling the Christians is to be careful so that you will not lose hope as well as you will not lose your faith. And I believe that is the main purpose of these pastors coming out, you know, to speak out in order to motivate us, encourage us to have faith in Jesus Christ in order not to us to lose our faith. So I think this is the main purpose of them coming out because some are saying that hey, because they are in the same business, they are just the same as T.B. Joshua. That's why they are coming out. Just as uh, Pastor Johnson Anosike said that he have not met T.B. Joshua. He didn't know him. But why he came out to speak out is because of Christianity, because Christianity is indeed under attack. So I would love you guys to leave your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about this video? Please don't forget to share the video as well. Like so that YouTube can recommend it to other people to watch. Thanks so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next update. Bye-bye for now.